Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good night. Whenever you're watching this, I hope that you are doing great. Um, before we get started on our lesson, we're gonna go over our lesson expectations so we know what we should be doing and what we will need to be successful in this lesson. Um, if you don't know already, this is Miss Strong. I am super excited to be teaching you and I hope you are ready to learn today. All right, our lesson expectations. Number one, you need to be focused, focus, focus. Everybody focus. That means you need to be looking and watching everything that is on the screen. And you need to be listening with your ears to my directions and um, to what I am teaching you. Number two, um, if you need to, you can rewind. That means go back. If you need to go back in the video to hear something again, please do that. And pause when you need to. So if you need to stop the video, like if I ask you a question, I tell you to stop and think, I ask you to write something down, then you need to pause the video so that you can do your work. Number three, record your learning on your paper. So that means you're going to get a piece of a paper and a pencil, and you're going to write down your thinking and answer any questions that I tell you to answer. And lastly, at the end, there will be a question for you to respond to in the comment section of the video. When you leave your comment, make sure you put your name, uh, respond in a complete sentence, and if it makes sense, uh, use evidence to support your answer. Um, some symbols to be looking out for are the uh, symbol for pausing. You need to pause the video. The pencil means you're going to write. The brain, he's telling you to stop and think. And then these blue letters say comment. That means that you're going to post your thinking in the comments. And what you're going to need today is a pencil and a piece of paper, and that is all. And even if you don't have pencil and paper, you can still do this lesson. All right, let's look at what we are doing today. Our learning target, go ahead and aim at the target. And then one, two, three, shoot. Today, I can identify a fact and an opinion. What are we doing today? We are going to identify a fact and an opinion. Uh-oh, Miss Strong forgot her period. We need to make sure we have periods at the end of our sentences. Don't be like Miss Strong. Put a period at the end of your sentence. All right, we are going to watch a brain pop video on fact and opinion. Now is a time where you need to make sure that you are listening and watching very closely. What is it, Moby? Saturn is gone. Planet disappears from the solar system? Don't you think that sounds a little fishy? Not everything you read is true, Moby. What is a fact? A fact is a statement that can be proven true. Well, here's a fact. My socks don't match. I, uh, woke up late and had to rush to school. You can use your observations to prove that I'm wearing different socks. See? It's a fact. All right, Moby, you're an orange robot, and that's a fact. Cool, now you're a striped robot. Oh, now you're plaid. Now you're just showing off. A fact is a true statement. The sun gives off light and heat. Animals need food and water to live. Sometimes you can't use your observations to prove facts. 
This website says that the elephant is the largest animal on Earth. I can't observe every animal on Earth to prove that the statement is a fact. But I can look up information in other places and see if they state the same information. When you verify, you make sure that something is correct. I can look up facts in books at the library or research online to verify the fact. I can even ask an expert. Hmm. Both of these books say that the blue whale is the largest animal on Earth. The elephant is the largest animal on land. So, this website isn't giving accurate or correct information. A source is someone or something that provides information, like a book, newspaper, or website. I don't think this website is a good source because it has wrong information. What is an opinion? An opinion is a belief that a person has about someone or something. An opinion describes what someone thinks, feels, or believes. It can share an emotion or a point of view. You can agree or disagree with an opinion. While facts can be proven true or false, opinions cannot be proven. Becca thinks tarantulas are the best pets. They're her favorite animal. It's Becca's opinion. You feel that tarantulas are scary. That's also an opinion. You and Becca disagree about tarantulas. I agree, Moby. Dogs are the greatest animals on the planet. How can you tell the difference between a fact and an opinion? Remember, a fact is a true statement. Right, Moby. George Washington was the first president of the United States. That's a fact. Anyone can make this statement and it'll be true. But opinions don't work like that. Ghost stories are scary. Is this a fact or an opinion? Well, not everyone agrees that ghost stories are scary. So this isn't a true statement. It's an opinion. As you listen or read, notice words that tell how a person feels about something. Moby thinks Superbot is the most exciting superhero. The words Moby thinks and most exciting are clues that his statement is an opinion. My favorite villain is the evil Dr. M. The word favorite signals an opinion. All right, we'll watch the rest of that video on a different day, but that's all we need to know for now. All right, so we are going to read a story that is going to have facts and opinions. Before we read our story, we're going to look at some vocabulary that is going to be important to understand because it's going to be in the story we're going to read. The first word that we're going to need to know is beard. Um, your dad or uncle or a man in your life might have a beard. It is hair on your chin. The next word is provide. Provide. Provide uh, means to give. Usually it means to give something that someone needs. But think of like a mom giving her baby food. A mom provides her children with food. Our next word is gentle, gentle. So to be gentle means to be kind, soft, loving, you look at this first picture right here where the monkey is chasing around uh, the smaller monkey with a stick and making him cry. He's being violent. He's being rough. That is not 
gentle. That is the opposite of gentle. Look at the second picture where the big monkey is holding the baby, uh, being kind. They're both smiling. That is gentle. Wool um, is a fabric made out of um, sheepskin, or we're going to see that it can also be made of sheep fur or the fur of a goat. And let's go ahead and read our story. So our story that we're going to be reading today is called Goats Are Great. Goats are great. Written by Elise Sweeney. Elise Sweeney is the author. Author is another word for the person who wrote the book. Goats are great. What's so great about goats? Goats give us food. They help us and play with us. Goats make great pets. Goats provide food for us. Many people drink goat milk. Goat milk makes goat cheese. Some people eat goat meat. Goats help us in many ways. Goats are happy to eat weeds in people's, guard in people's yards. We can make wool cloth out of soft goat hair. Goats make great pets and are fun to play with. Goats learn to come when you call their name. Goats are easy to take care of. Goats like to be outdoors. They enjoy sunny days. Goats spend most of their day playing and eating. Goats are great to look at. Many have long, floppy ears. Goats have lower teeth. Goats have only lower teeth. All goats have two hard toes on each foot. Both boy and girl goats can have long beards. Some baby goats are born with tiny horns. Goat hair is very soft to touch. Goats eat healthy foods. Goats like to eat long grass. They like flowers and apples. Goats eat anything yummy. Goats are strong and quick. Goats like to climb and jump. They play king of the mountain. Goats are smart, playful, gentle, and helpful. Goats are fun and friendly. That's why goats are great. And that's the end of that story. Now we're going to talk about some facts and opinions from the story. Now we learned in uh, our brain pop video that facts are statements or something that we know for sure is true. So we can see it or we can research it to prove it. An opinion is something you think or something you feel. So I have some sentences from the story and we want to figure out if these sentences are a fact or an opinion. So remember a fact is something you can prove to be true, something you can see or um, research and you know it is true. 
An opinion is how someone feels or what they think. So if you ask different people, their opinions are going to be different. Facts are not going to change. So for example, a fact about me is I am a teacher. That is true. You can prove that. You can see where I work. You can see my teaching license. You can see my degree. There are things that you can do to prove that I am a teacher. An opinion about Miss Strong would be Miss Strong is a nice teacher. Nice. That word nice, that is an opinion. Some people might think Miss Strong is a nice teacher, but some people might not agree. They might think Miss Strong is a mean teacher. So opinions are what people think. That can change from person to person. Facts stay the same. They are true. So let's look at these sentences. And here you're going to stop and think. Before we go through the answers together, I want you to stop and think. And think to yourself if it's a fact or an opinion. I'm going to read all of the sentences for you. Goats have only lower teeth. All goats have two hard toes on each foot. Goats make great pets. Both boy and girl goats can have long beards. Goats are fun and friendly. Goats are great to look at. Goats are easy to take care of. Some baby goats are born with tiny horns. So right now I want you to stop. And just think about where each of these sentences should go. Think about if it's a fact or an opinion. So you can pause the video right now and stop and think. All right, and let's go ahead and look at our answer. So the first one, goats have only lower teeth. So I'm thinking, is this something that I can see to be true? Can I observe it? Yes. Goats have only lower teeth, so that is a fact. Next, all goats have two hard toes on each foot. Is that something that is true? Is that something that I can observe or research? Yes, that is a fact. All goats have two hard toes on each foot. I could look at a goat and see that. I can um, read that in a book. That's not going to change if I ask someone else. That's definitely true. Okay, goats make great pets. So is that something I can see and observe? Hmm, I don't know. If I ask different people, are they going to give me different answers? Probably, I think that or I know that this is an opinion, not a fact. Some people might think that goats are great pets, but others might not. I have a very small backyard. I wouldn't have room for a goat. A goat would not be a great pet for me. Both boy and girl goats can have long beards. That's something that I can observe. That's something that I can see. That is true. That is a fact. Next, goats are fun and friendly. So I want to think like fun and friendly. Can I see something as fun? Or is that something that... Um, will be different if I ask different people. 
So this word fun right here is giving it away. It's an opinion because some people might think goats are fun, but others might not. So goats are fun and friendly. That is an opinion. Next, great goats are great to look at. This one's a little bit tricky because I see the word look. And with facts, usually um, we can look and observe to see if it's a fact. But this word great gives away that it's an opinion. Some people might think that goats are great, but others might not. Great is how you feel about something. So goats are great to look at is an opinion. Goats are easy to take care of. The word that is giving it away for this one is easy. This right here is going to change from person to person. Some things are gonna be easy for some people and other things are going to be hard for some people. So this is an opinion. You might think it's easy to take care of a goat. For me, Miss Strong, I don't think that would be easy for me. And lastly, some baby goats are born with tiny horns. That is a fact. That is something that would not change no matter who you ask. You can observe it, you can research it. That is something that is true. It is not a feeling and it is definitely not an opinion. It is a fact. Yay, so we have all our facts and opinions done here. Look and see how many did you get right? Were you able to get most of the answers correct? If you did, that's awesome. That means you have a great understanding of facts and opinions. If you didn't get most of the answers correct, that's okay. That just means that we need some more practice. Um, you might want to go back and look at the Brain Pop video again. And just remember that a fact is something that is definitely true. A fact can be proven by what you see or you can research it. An opinion is based off of thoughts or feelings. So depending on who you ask, the answer is going to change. So for example, another opinion about Miss Strong is Miss Strong is a great cook. That is an opinion because some people might think the food that I cook is good, but others might not think it's that great. Another fact about Miss Strong is that I am five feet and nine inches tall. That is a fact. You can prove that by measuring me. It's also on my driver's license. And that is something that is true. No matter what anyone else says, I am definitely five feet and nine inches tall. That is not a feeling. That is not what I think. That is a fact. Awesome. So now that we know what a fact and opinion is, what I would like you to do is in the comment section, um, actually before you put this in the comment section, I want you to get out your pencil and write this down. So the first question is, what is one fact you learned about goats? So we just read a story about goats. What's one thing that you learn? And if you need to rewind the video and listen to the story again, that is fine. And that's actually a great idea. Good readers go back to the text. 
So when you write this down, you can use this sentence stem. One fact I learned is blank and write down the fact. What is an opinion you have about goats? So first you're gonna write a fact, then you're gonna write an opinion. Remember an opinion is what you think or how you feel. So my opinion about goats is blank and write it down. So you're gonna write one fact and one opinion. And it would be a really great idea to go back and listen to the story again. After you have written down your fact and your opinion, I would love it if you could share it in the comment section. Remember to put your name and write in a full complete sentence. That is the end of our lesson. I had so much fun. And I hope you have too. I hope you learn something. I want you to be able to go back to your parents and tell them what a fact and an opinion is. Thank you guys so much for trying your best. And I can't wait to read your answers in the comment section. Have a great day. I will see you later. Bye.